Hello everyone and thank you for watching. This is Life Expectancy bringing you a review of Rogue Cube on Xbox One. Developed by Bipolar Dawn and published for consoles by Rattalaka Games, Rogue Cube is a shoot 'em up with 8-bit styling and light roguelike elements. I honestly have to say right off the bat that I actually really enjoyed this game. I've never been a huge shoot 'em up fan, but the easier completions like this one have started to give me more of an appreciation for the genre. I'll never be one for the controller smashing extreme bullet hell shoot 'em ups, but games like Rogue Cube can be quite fun. What makes this particular title more fun than some of the other indie shoot 'em ups that I've played is the variety of guns and how they fire and consume ammo, as well as the minor experience and leveling up mechanics. My first few runs seemed pretty straightforward and repetitive, but when I happened to pick up good RNG and get a fantasy sword, melee weapon, and a love puker, the game instantly gained a few levels in my fun index. And yes, you heard that right, a love vomiting super gun was one of my favorites. Eventually you'll be gaining two health for every one that you pick up, dropping grenades when you dodge, and blasting enemies with weapons ranging from a plasma pistol to bazookas and grenade launchers, and funky unique ones like the glitch gun, the love puker, and my personal favorite, the fantasy sword. Anyone who has played Zelda and Final Fantasy will immediately see the homage paid to these two by the fantasy sword. While things like the glitch gun and the love puker are their own oddly satisfying personalities. With boss fights interspersed between levels of increasingly difficult and numerous enemies, six unlockable playable characters with different abilities and playstyles, a good variety of guns with distinctly different feels, and about a one hour achievement completion or one to two hour campaign completion, Rogue Cube is definitely worth its four to five dollar price in my opinion. When you add on top of that a local versus mode for up to four players and the ability to play the campaign modes in local co-op, the value adds up. At the time of this video, it's 20% off, at least for gold members, I think. So I say don't wait for a sale. Pick it up for four or five bucks. You certainly won't regret it. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.